what are you the people going to do? Because if I was a teacher now in the public sector, they would have had to reopen. I would be demonstrating if I was a teacher now. $291,000 per teacher is not unreasonable. Hey, my people, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Anissa Bell Rose. Blessings one and all. Welcome, my new subscribers. Thanks for the returning subscriber. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn the post notification bell on so you won't miss an upload from me. Well, Mr. Crawford, a talk out based on Prime Minister Andrew Olin's response as it pertains to the massive pay hike that the parliamentarians, you know, took for themselves. And, uh, you know, Prime Minister Andrew Olin's in a video that I did yesterday, basically I defended saying that if they don't take the pay hike, then they won't be able to perform. And Mr. Crawford, in this one, is dissecting his response and telling her as it is. Saying that they're deceptive, they're liars, and you name it. Well, listen to the whole entire video, my people, and drop on the two cents in the comment section. We sat in the cabinet and we agonized even whether or not we should even take any increase. Not something that we took lightly because we know that there are persons who will try to make political fodder over it as a country. What has plagued us is that we have treated the political class with schizophrenia and disdain. The truth is you get the quality of governance that you elect. And every government is afraid to touch it because if you touch it, people say you don't deserve it. Why we should pay you more and the country not running well? The country not running well. Because of that very reason, you have chosen to have an underpaid political class. How must they deliver? There are many young people out there now who have started to look at entering the political field with higher educational qualifications, higher skill level, higher competences. You are going to see as a result of this an increase, an improvement in the level of entrance coming into the political field. No questions asked. But you're also going to see an improvement in the existing occupants of the post because they have to now step up their game. Even the opposition quite rightly saw the logic in what was being done and saw that it was in the best interest of developing a proper structure for the country in terms of compensation structure. But I did not expect that they would continue on a logical path. We expected that because the political opportunity that it provides is just too much to resist. But in doing that, it shows up their hypocrisy and their false indignation. Those who have what they call common sense, but not common intelligence, they will latch on to it. I'm saying that if 63 people who are the members of parliament are able to get away with things that people really don't agree with, then something wrong with the people because they have 3 million of us. So you have 3 million people who are being led astray and dissatisfied and disarmed and disrespected by 63 people and somehow 3 million people cannot change that. How could that be? You give you a response to that. <laughs> well, I've always said that the Prime Minister is not the, the smartest cookie that I have made. But if you look at the arguments, it, covered, it carries two outcomes. If he suggests that an increase in salary with the same people will lead to increased performance, then he's suggesting that they were sabotaging the country because of a lack of pay. They were punishing the country because they weren't satisfied with their remuneration. So therefore, he's suggesting that the current crop of leaders within the country were um, acting under sabotage. And whenever they are satisfied with their salary, that sabotage will be removed. That's the first thing you get from that. The second thing you get from that is, would it not therefore also carry that you cannot get a good education system without properly paid teachers if you can't get a good um, leadership without properly paid politicians? And would it also carry that you can't get good policing without properly paid um, policemen and security forces? And you can't go get good hospital and health without properly paid nurses and teachers, I mean nurses and doctors. So. On the one hand, if you should carry his argument to all the other sectors of government, it should have cause for higher pays for those sectors of government. And if you are to carry his argument only for the political class, since there is no wholesale change of his cabinet and no wholesale change of his members of parliament, 
then it suggests that they must have been sabotaging us for the $9 million. He himself must have been purposely underperforming because he was only getting nine and not $28 million. They have paid themselves super normal um, salaries because they perceive no negative from the people's opinion. No negative from the people's opinion. Mr. Crawford, you have been on your farm, but I'm sure that your phone is blowing up. It is. How it are is. Jamaican responding to this? I'm thinking a weak way. I think Jamaicans are calling other people to save them. Like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you, the people, going to do? Because if I was a teacher now in the public sector, they would have had to reopen. I would be demonstrating if I was a teacher now. If I repeat, was that, that, repeat that, Damien Crawford. I'd be demonstrating if I was a teacher. I would not have accepted a look at 20,000, a look at 30,000 more per month when the prime minister is getting millions more. I would not have accepted that. I would not, because one of the realities that we face, including myself, is that I don't have as much information as the prime minister. I don't have as much information as the government. So I am forced to take what they tell me as gospel. And they told me in the negotiations that the country could not legitimately afford and consider magnitudes of salaries that were being asked. It wasn't any great, as I said, $291,000 per teacher is not unreasonable. $212,000 when mortgage is at least $85,000 is not unreasonable. So therefore, the teachers weren't unreasonable. Right now, teachers who go to university and upgrade themselves with a master's mm -hmm. were saying, listen, give us consideration for that upgrade. A person who has been a teacher for 10 years was saying, give us mm -hmm. a little more mm -hmm. for experience. They were told that is mm -hmm. unaffordable. And then now, you come to say, um, but, but we can live lavish that we can buy a, a new Benz every year, that we can pay cash for an apartment within three years, that if I get five years as prime minister, I have over um, $140 million, that I can retire with $100 million after five years as prime minister, five times 20 million, I put that and then I live off the other 8 million. That can't be right, cannot be right. If the prime minister, takes eight million a year for to survive he can save 20 million a year and if he saves 20 million a year in one term he can resign with 100 million and me as a teacher cannot buy groceries i would demonstrate i'm telling the truth well there it is my people don't be afraid to spam up the comment section make we talk up the things um it is unethical in every sense of the word for the prime minister of the country to be taking 200 and 300 percent for his whole parliament the highest paid politicians in the caribbean comment and let me know what you think about this my people as we say when i rest off of this topic because it is not right stay tuned for more videos my people don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel on the road to 5k Want to be a part of the notification show? Out, you have to be the first to comment and like the video and you'll be featured in the following video. This notification shout out goes to Castro Palma. Big up yourself, Castro Palma. Thanks for the support one and all. Remember the membership. Check it out, my people. You get benefits by becoming a member of the channel. Also, run go over to my other platforms, Instagram and Facebook and follow me over there at Anissa Bell Rose. Check out the YouTube store if you see anything on it that you like, my people. Don't be afraid to make a purchase. It goes in support of the channel just the same. Big up on yourself. Stay tuned for the next video.